Yeah, so in this video, what we're going to try and do anyway is remove just the end caps. So you can hear this one, it's a little bit. And I don't know if that's grit stuck on the end cap or if the bearing's dead inside. But the whole hub is a little bit noisy and there's a little bit of vibration coming through it when I spin it like that. So I suspect there is a dead bearing somewhere. These can get seized on. I think one of the things I would say straight away is, you can get that to there. There's no point trying to wiggle this silver bit on the end because that's an axle and that basically runs all the way through the hub to the other end. So the end caps are basically separate from this axle here. Uh, one of the methods that I will be using is hot water. So we've got some boiled water. I mean, you can even drop this in just so the end cap is submerged or if you wanted to you could basically just pour the hot water on the end cap and what that would hopefully do is cause it to expand enough making it quite easy um, to remove i don't really know why they get stuck on there that much they seem to be a bit problematic but Move that out of the way and spill it all. Yeah. There is like a rubber O-ring in there, but yeah, I don't think that's the issue. I think it's because you've got aluminium on aluminium and there's some sort of corrosion that happens. So what I'm gonna do is just pop that over there, grab a pair of pliers. And I think the sad thing is, no matter how you do this, the potential is that you're gonna scratch some of the anodization. So if we can get that onto the end cap. Try and give that a bit of a wiggle. Remember the hub's gonna be a little bit hot. Let's have a little look. Looks like it's moved a tiny bit, but not an awful lot. Yeah, it's coming off, so it actually can See a little gap forming around the edge. And I'm just gonna take that and hopefully that will, there we go, pull off. And there's your end cap. And there is the bearing, which definitely feels quite grainy. And that is the culprit, one of them anyway. And there is actually a little rubber O-ring in there as well. And I think sometimes people like to chuck a load of grease on them to try and stop it seizing. I think sometimes the grease might affect the rubber and cause that to expand a little bit, which can make it worse, but people are just trying to help, I guess. Now we're left with this hub. There we go, somewhere over there is a the camera. We're left with this hub. Um, you have a couple of options. You could grab like a steel bolt that will fit into that hole. So if it's in there, and then you can knock that out with a hammer. But what that will do, it will take out the whole of the axle, it will take the end cap off and potentially the bearing on this side as well. So if you're just trying to get the end cap off on their own, that's probably not the best option, but it is an easy way. But then what you end up with is you end up with the end cap and the bearing stuck to the axle. Um, but then you can actually just, you can punch that out anyway. It's just one option.